Today we're going to be checking out three different dual-sided diamond sharpening stones. These three represent roughly the most common options available on the market right now. They're all three inches by eight inches in size, and we'll also be comparing them to the classic Norton combination stone that we're mostly familiar with. Some of the things we're going to be checking out are the weight, the distribution of diamond grit, where these are made, the size. We're also going to look at some magnified views of the surfaces. We'll check out flatness as measured on a CMM, and we'll just take some close-up looks. On the left, we have a DMT Duo Sharp. This is a coarse at 325 and a fine at 600. In the middle, we have Easy Lap. That's a medium at 400 and super fine at 1200. And then on the right, we have the Sharple. That's a coarse at 325 and a fine at 1200. And the old Norton stone is roughly a coarse at 150 and a fine at 400. Before we take the packaging off, I might note that as far as shipping goes, the Sharple was the best packaged. I had no issues. The DMT did sustain damage in shipping. It's kind of a flimsy box, although the product was not damaged inside. The Easy Lap Stone, however, arrived in three pieces and the packaging didn't offer really any sort of protection. Uh, so just something to consider. DMT Duo Sharp Stone is a hair over 8 inches long, about 2 and 5 eighths wide, and the thickness is at 356. The two plates are bonded to a plastic backing. If you read the marketing materials, they claim that the holes assist with the sharpening process, but I imagine it also cuts down on the amount of diamond grit that has to be used. In a practical sense, it probably also provides a feature for the injection molded plastic to flow into to help keep the plates attached. This is the fine side that we're looking at. The fine side is 600 grit. And the coarse side is 325. There is a small legend at the bottom of one of the sides. The stone slides into the plastic holder from the side. And then these plastic end pieces are pressed down. It actually grabs the stone quite firmly. I can't move it. The holder is plastic, but it appears to be made relatively well. I do like how it has eight posts that accept these small rubber feet, which is kind of a tacky rubber. There's also a handle if you wanted to hold the stone like this. If you want to flip the stone over, you push down on these. 
and the stone is released. stone unfortunately arrived broken in the sense that the stone is separated from the backing plate and if you look at the plastic backing plate there doesn't appear to be any texture on it which is probably why the glue had difficulty holding so this is kind of unfortunate because I like the slim design and I've had great luck with products from this company in the past For the size, this stone is 8 inches long, 3 inches wide, and the thickness, 366. Here's the medium side, 400 grit. And the super fine 1200 grit side. The stone does come with a piece of anti-slip fabric, but really nothing special. stone appears to be a very well thought out product. It comes in a nice plastic case that has a very positive locking clasp, a rubberized bottom which is really grippy, and a hinge that incorporates a steel pin. Nothing about it feels fragile. Removing the stone, it is 8 inches long, 3 inches wide, and 357 thick. The inside of the case has a padded bottom and a top, and it also has an angle gauge that snaps into the lid. The angle gauge has a magnet which sticks on to the stone, which is solid steel. Also kind of nice, the edge of the stone is engraved, very clear labeling. This is unlike the DMT stone where you have to follow a key and a color code. So this is the 325 grit side. And this is the super fine 1200 grit side. They do instruct to use the stone dry. I used a little bit of water the first time I used it and I had some surface rust the next day, even after drying it out with a rag.
with the case closed, you can place the stone in the lid. And you have a very nice base for using the stone to sharpen knives on a tabletop. these stones weigh. The DMT stone weighs 12 ounces or 0.8 pounds. This would be the lightest of the four since it's got all the holes in the plates. The Easy Lap stone weighs 25 ounces or 1.6 pounds. And the Sharple stone is definitely the heaviest at 37 ounces, or 2.3 pounds. It's solid steel, so it feels very heavy. Finally, the Norton stone, only 17 ounces, or 1.1 pounds, feels very light.
So overall, I would say that my favorite stone is the Sharple for some of the design considerations, but honestly, all the stones are really nice, and I think even the Easy Lap stone could be fine if uh, it was repaired or not damaged in the first place. Uh, even the Norton stone is a great stone, and I've used it for a long time. I just wish it was 8 inches long. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for checking these stones out with me.